And shots rang out at the school. The family of Coach Scott Beagle frantically searched for flights to get here from New York. With everything booked, they had to charter a jet to Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. Then they got a huge bill for it. CBS Force that's counting picks it up from here in a story that's all new at 6 o'clock. Scott Beagle was a beloved teacher and cross country coach at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. He was killed during the Valentine's Day massacre while saving his students. That sacrifice will never be forgotten. Everything's for him now. Every race that we do, it's for Coach Beagle. Beagle's mom, Linda Schulman, lives by that principle too. She and his family rushed from New York to be here hours after the shooting. Commercial flights were sold out, so they had to charter a jet to get here. Then they got the bill, a whopping $36,000. Schulman took to Facebook. I have waited all this time in hopes that the owner of Talent Air Inc. would show some compassion, she said. But as you read on, you will see that unfortunately he has not. She continued, Talent Air Inc. not only charged us $18,229.57 one way, they charged us another $18,229.56 to bring the plane back. They offered us a $1,000 discount or a $2,000 donation to the charity of our choice. That post was Monday night. By today, Talent Air responded, sending a letter to the Schulmans. The founder saying, I was shocked and heartsick when your Facebook post was brought to my attention. He went on, you will be refunded today $18,000 that you pay to Talent Air. Talent Air will also make a donation of $18,000 to the Scott J. Beagle Memorial Fund, Inc. Schulman was grateful, posting the letter and saying, I want to thank Adam Katz, owner of Talent Air, Inc., for his offer, which I have accepted. Today is the first day that people can submit their claims online. Beagle's family and everyone involved now has another way to get financial help. As of today, the Stoneman Douglas Victims Fund is accepting applications from families, students, teachers, and staff impacted by the shooting. And they can use the money for however they would like to. If they want to use the money to pay for this plane charge, if they want to use this money for a memorial, if they want to use this money for counseling, whatever they want to use the money for, they can use the money. It's an unrestricted gift. The Victims Fund now sits at more than $8 million. They'll continue to accept donations until the end of June. Then in July, they'll distribute that money. If you'd like to help out, you can go to our website, cbsmiami.com, and we'll link you to it. In Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouton, CBS 4 News.